Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial in Cubase. One of the most important things you'll do when you're producing music is copy and paste events. And so today is a tutorial all about copying and pasting events. I'm gonna show you three ways in which I do it and one little special thing you can do with MIDI. So let's just jump into Cubase and get started. Okay, so here we are in Cubase, and one of the first things that we wanna do is work with a drum loop, because that is often when you'll be duplicating events. So I have a drum loop chosen, I've chosen my sound, and I'm going to use groove number five in Groove Agent. Um, we can listen to it. There it is. And in order to put this into your project, all you have to do is just drag and drop. So I want to align this with the first beat. And a lot of uh, aligning correctly has to do with your quantize and snap settings. So I'm using 16th notes here, but if I wanted to switch this to just a bar, I could switch it to a bar, and if I, as long as I have grid on and snap on here at the top, it'll go bar by bar. So I want this to line up with the first bar. So the first thing I'm going to teach you about with um, copying and pasting is just duplication. You can do that either with the hotkey command, control D, or I think I want to go out about 24 bars or so. So what I will do is actually take this little X, if you can see it, let me zoom in so you can see it even closer, here on the event. Uh, the one that's on the right hand side of the event that will duplicate as many times if you drag. So if we go back to the working space I want, I click this and I can duplicate five times. Boom. Now we have our drum loop all set up. Um, And that was easy. That was uh, copying and pasting using the duplication function. Now let's uh, get into a little bit more advanced copying and pasting. I'll play a little bit of bass guitar so we can sort of learn this. Okay, so the bass guitar is set up to record and we'll play something that doesn't fall exactly on the same bar lines as the drums so that it's uh, easy to show you how to do looping and copying and pasting even if it's not just a straight duplication. So let's go. Okay, so there's our loop, let's work with it. So a lot of times when you're duplicating, you need to look at where the loop comes in. This one comes in at the fourth beat. And I came in a little early, but we're not going to worry about that today. So what I'm going to do is switch my quantize to use quantize in my snap settings at the top here. And I'm going to cut it off right at the fourth beat. And we'll get rid of the beginning part of this. We will cheat in a little bit. So now what we have is this. Okay, now we can cut this off at the six here, at the bar line. And we know that at the fourth beat, we want the new loop to come in. So what we'll do is we'll copy this using control C, or you can go to your edit menu at the top and hit control C copy. So control C, uh, we've copied the event with control C. And now we set the cursor to the fourth beat and we hit control V. And what we'll see is we'll have a good loop now because it comes in on the fourth beat. And we need a new one to come in on the fourth. There's another way to copy and paste events and that's to click on the event and hold Alt and we just slide that into the fourth beat there, and we'll have another perfect loop. And so now if I want to copy it again, just to make sure that it's perfect, I'll line it up with the fourth beat and hit control V and we'll get a perfect loop. We'll do that again a couple more times. And this is because it's, uh, you know, it comes in a beat early and we'll have it match up with these drums and we'll have it be the end there. Okay, so now we have the bass looped. Now I wanna show you a bonus tip. If we go 
and add a second track. Oftentimes I like to do a DI track and an amp track for bass. Well, if I wanted to do that and I wanted the tracks to line up perfectly, what I would do is I would click on the event or I could click on all of these events. And this is copying and pasting multiple events to a different track in perfect time. Well, if you click on all the events and you drag them up, you lose them. I mean, you lose them in the original track. So if you click on all the events and hold Alt, I believe that's Option on Mac, and you go up, you can copy them up. But as you can see, it's sliding around uh, based upon your quantized setting and your grid. So my final point is if you highlight all this and you want to copy it to a second track, you hold Alt and Control, and it'll snap it to be exactly locked in time. And it doesn't matter. Um, if you move your mouse left or right, it will snap it to be perfectly in time with the track below. So now we have a DI track and an amp track playing bass. And so that is a way to use the control C and control V functions. Now let's take a look. Let's uh, do a little bit of a rhythm guitar thing going. And with the magic of editing, I'm back and let's record a little uh, electric guitar loop. Okay, a little lyrical passage there, and let's uh, loop this up for the remainder of the loop. So if we listen back, we get... And uh, all we need to do is take a look at where the loop starts. And just like the other one, it does start on the four. So we can copy it here, control C and paste it on the four, the end here. And we'll cheat in and um, do this. And so now we can copy it down the line to all of the others. Okay, so one more thing I'd like to add to this is some uh, key chords. And so we'll do that real quick and we'll loop those and I'll show you one more uh, copy and paste tip with MIDI. So let's give this a shot. All right, there's our chords. Um, this is just a two bar loop. So I think that we can just duplicate this down the line. Um, like we did in the first example. But I do want to show you something about MIDI spacing. So Okay, like let's say at the end of the second part of each solo, I want to um, have this chord, have this note be an octave down. So. And it just adds a little flavor. Well, we can go in and take out the MIDI for each of those. And if you hold Alt, if you actually, if you select an event and you hold Alt, like we learned before, it will transfer. But if you hold Alt and Shift, you'll get these two lines. And I'll show you what's going on here. Mm -hmm. 
So the Alt and Shift means any change made to this one will be made to the other one. So if I add a chord an octave up, if we go back, you'll see that chord exists here on the other one as well, even though I just added it to this one. So Alt and Drag copy something, but Alt, Shift and Drag makes whatever change you make to the original or the duplicate uh, happen on the original or the duplicate. So if we alt, shift, and drag this as well, and we add a duplicate chord up here, um, what we'll see is that it exists on all of them now that have the two lines. See, here's the, the extra chord. And if we go back to the original, there's the extra chord. So. So this is handy to know if you make a change to one part and you want um, the end of each bar to be the same, you can alt shift drag and then whatever change you make to one MIDI event will be on a different MIDI event down the line. So this has been a quick tutorial on how I use copy and paste for events within the project window in Cubase. I either use control D to duplicate or slide that little box along the right hand side. I'll use control C and control V, but a lot of times lining up samples perfectly is figuring out where they start. And sometimes that's not on the one. And then finally, when I'm using MIDI, if I want a persistent change when I change one event to all other events, I have to use alt shift to drag. And then any new event created will be in sync with the previous events from before. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.